assalamu alaikum and welcome to another episode in today's discussion we will be talking about electrostatic induction so let's just first establish what is electrostatic induction electrostatic induction means the replacement or displacement of the charge under the influence of another charge object so let me try to explain this with the help of a diagram what you are looking at here is a metallic sphere which is mounted on an insulated stand first we need to understand why this sphere is mounted on a stand made of insulated material well the reason for that is to prevent the leak of any charge which is developed on the sphere as we know that the sphere is made up of conducting material and conducting materials are poor charge carriers so to prevent the leakage of any charge the sphere is mounted on the stand now under normal circumstances this sphere is neutral which means it has equal number of positive charges and equal number of negatively charged particles since it is made up of conductor so it has free electrons in it also which are moving randomly which has been shown by these negative charges here now when you bring a positively charged rod close to the sphere what will happen is that all of the free electrons in the sphere will be attracted due to the force of attraction of the positive charge on this rod and they will move towards and closer to the positively charged due to this movement of the electrons or the negatively charged particles you will have a higher concentration of negative charge on the face close to the positively charged one, while the other face will have a higher concentration of positive charge and this process is called electrostatic induction where the charge object influences the charges in the neutral object to rearrange themselves now one very important point here positive charge does not move remember that then you will be asking why i draw the positive charge like this remember this is just a representation okay because we know the sphere is made up of solid and in solid atoms do not move if you recall the previous video i talked about how the positive and negative charges were created now this positive charge is basically just the atoms with one less electron so the positive charges don't move it's just the free electrons which can move all right so what happened when the electrons moved to the left side this side now has a higher concentration of positive charge and we are representing it with this sign i hope you understand this point now we will use this process to make this sphere charge now the next step is we are going to connect an earth wire why an earth wire so that the electrons can get attracted so when i'm going to connect an earth wire to the sphere the positive charge here on the sphere is going to attract the electrons from the earth earth is basically a giant reserve or a sinkhole for the electrons where the electrons tend to go the natural tendency of the electrons or the negatively charged particle is that they want to go towards the earth so they are going to find any chance to earth themselves and that's why in the very first place we made the stands made up of what insulating materials so that this can be prevented now what will happen the electrons will get attracted from the earth and they will move toward the sphere because of the force of attraction of the positive charge here now you have excess negative charge here now once you have that we will first remove the earth wire and then we will remove the charge rod this is very important the steps that you have to follow number 1 remove the earth wire number 2 after that remove the charge rod why it is so significant if we do opposite of it it will not get charged why let me try to explain this now so let us say if i remove the positively charged rod first in that situation the excess electrons which were attracted before they are going to earth themselves back why because of the repulsive force between the electrons which were already present plus the negative charge which comes from the earth 
so they are going to be repelled and that excess electrons are going to hurt themselves again making the sphere neutral and we don't want to do that so that's why we will first remove the earth wire and then we will remove the rod in case of removing the earth wire the excess electrons which have traveled towards the sphere they will not have any other way to earth themselves hence now you have more negative charge than the positive charge so the net charge on the sphere now will be negative. Now let's take a look at another case. What will happen if we bring a negatively charged rod close to the sphere? When you bring the negatively charged rod close to the sphere, what will happen? The electrons will be repelled. Now the arrangement of the charge in the sphere will be as such. The electrons or the negatively charged particles will be repelled to the opposite end while leaving this side with a higher concentration of positive charge. In the next step, again, we will connect the earth wire and because of that, the electrons which were here are going to repel the Once we connect the earth wire, the electrons will be repelled by this negative charge rod and they will earth themselves, leaving with a higher concentration of positive charge in the sphere here. Now we will follow the same steps. First, we will remove the earth wire, then we will remove the rod. So now the sphere will have a net positive charge on it. So what we understand from here is that through the process of electrostatic induction, you can also charge the object. So until now, we have discussed two ways in which any object can be charged electrostatically. Number one, by friction, and number two, through electrostatic induction. Another thing we established from this explanation is that during the process of electrostatic induction, always the opposite charge will be induced in the sphere. Like when I bring the negatively charged rod close to the sphere, the sphere becomes positively charged. Similarly, when I bring the positively charged or close to the sphere, it becomes negative. That's for today. I hope you enjoyed the video.